question is a lot of times I feel like people live in this fantasy world where they're gonna get to Atmos and work for a client and they're just gonna have shit going everywhere in the room um, and that just isn't like the real world experience that happens so a lot of times when we're creating an Atmos mix the artist has to listen to it and approve it and as you guys know like artists aren't the ones to want something different in their mix they already make us follow the demo as closely as possible for the stereo side of stuff so when you start moving stuff around and taking a vocal that a lead that's supposed to be in the front of the room and maybe putting it on the ceiling and making it spin around although it may sound cool by the terms of like what atmos is a lot of these artists aren't on board with that they want to maintain the integrity of what the stereo mix sounded like and i think you guys know this as well like they're not they're not gonna like that stuff being moved all over the room so i feel like <clears throat> a lot of the mixes that i do i'll choose one element that can like kind of move around or something like an ad lib that can be moved around or maybe like a shaker that's moving around the room um but for the most part everything is pretty static and just spread through the room so that you get the feeling of being immersed in it but it's just not the real world experience to say oh when i get atmos i'm gonna have all the vocals spinning the lead is going to come around you and all this stuff it's just not the real world sometimes 